In this video, we are going to compare some of the most popular WordPress translation plugins. So we are going to compare WPML versus Polylang versus Vglot. So which one you should choose to translate your WordPress website? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So if you are planning to translate your WordPress website into some different language, then there are various plugins that you can use and try. And in this video, we are going to compare various other translation plugins and try to find out which one works best. So if before we do this comparison, we can categorize our contenders into a category. So WPML and Polylang falls under a category of plugin, which requires everything need to be done on the local level. On the other hand, Vglot is a cloud based translation service that you can use for your WordPress, Shopify and various other CMS. Now, if we take a look at the basic functionality of WPML and Polylang, then we will find out that there is not very much difference. Both of them work perfectly well for translating your WordPress website. And if we take a look at the pricing, Polylang begins the business pack at 139 euros, where you will be able to translate your WordPress website into multi-language. And it also covers the WooCommerce shop translation. And if we check the pricing of WPML, their most popular multilingual CMS starts with 99 only. And that also supports the e-commerce translation. Now, when we talk about the number of languages that are supported by both of these plugins, Polylang supports more languages as compared to WPML. And both of them works pretty well when it comes to the automatic translation. They use various API from Google and do the automatic translation, which is perfect most of the time. But you can also use the manual translation for your website. And that is actually the most effective way to translate your site. Along with that, both plugins do a pretty good job in translating your website theme plugins as well as media files. But as a beginner, Polylang got an advantage because it offers a free version. But in case of WPML, you need to purchase their paid plans. And if you are planning to go with the paid plan, you can surely check out their price and then make the decision as per your requirement. So if we talk about the functionality, there is not much difference between WPML and Polylang, but there is a major difference when it comes to the pricing. So you can make the decision as per your requirement. Now, if we summarize the technical part of these two plugins, both of these plugins create a separate post or page and store that in the WordPress database. And that could be an issue for a huge website. If in case you have a small corporate or a business website, that's perfectly fine. You can easily manage that. But as the site grows or if you have a big giant blog or e-commerce website, then this could be a problem. So the functionality of WPML and Polylang are pretty much the same. And now we can add a new contender for comparison that is Vglot. So if we talk about their e yearly plans, they start with $99 per year, but you can start using the free version where they offer you 1000 words of translation, which is pretty limited, but you will get an idea how it's working for you. And if we talk more about the pricing, Vglot pricing are based on number of words or the number of translation languages that you want to do. On the other hand, WPML and Polylang are based on their packages. So you don't have to worry about how many words you have translated. But in Vglot, it is completely based on how many words you are translating. So again, if you have a big giant blog or an e-commerce website, then this could be a little bit expensive for you. But here comes the biggest advantage of this Vglot service. It is a cloud based service and its translations are done by using the machine API. So there is no additional burden on your database and everything will be done in real time. And that is a huge advantage if you want to save space on your database. Now, both WPML and Polylang gets the plugin installed in WordPress backend. And there you do all the settings and all that stuff. But on the other hand, Vglot is a cloud based service. So you don't have to do any settings in your WordPress backend. All you have to do is just enter the API in the WordPress backend. And all the things and the backend will be handled by your Vglot account on their website. Along with that, Vglot offers 100 plus languages for translation, whereas WPML offers around 40 plus and a little bit more for Polylang. 
So if the language that you want to translate your website is available with Vglot, then that's a clear choice that you need to go with that only. In the end, we can say that if you have a small website and you don't mind creating duplicate pages and database, and you also want to do manual translation, then WPML or Polylang, you can choose any one of them, depending upon your budget. But when it comes to a high-end real-time machine API based translation, then Vglot is best. But again, it is based on number of words as well as number of languages you want to translate to. So you might need to consider that if that suits your budget. So if you have any questions regarding WordPress, then feel free to add that in the comment section below. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. And if you need any expert help regarding your website, you can connect with us using the link given in the video description below. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.